job cuts means more pain ahead for states as unemployment insurance claims rise and deplete state budgets. Congress has recently put aside $43 billion to assist the states and to provide for new and current recipients of unemployment checks. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yesterday, actually today it was, this morning, President Barack Obama chose an Arabic satellite TV network for his first formal television interview as president. He delivered a message to the Islamic world that, quote, Americans are not your enemy. The interview underscored the president's commitment to repair relations with the Muslim world that suffered under the previous administration. That's to put it mildly. The president expressed his intention to engage the Middle East immediately, and his new envoy to the region, former Senator George Mitchell, is expected to arrive in Egypt later today for a visit that will also take him to Israel, the West Bank, Jordan, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia. The president said, My job to the Muslim world is to communicate that the Americans are not your enemy. He was interviewed on the Saudi-owned, Dubai-based Al Arabiya news channel. The president said that the U.S. had made mistakes in the past, but, quote, that the same respect and partnership that America had with the Muslim world as recently as 20 or 30 years ago, why there's no reason that we can't restore that. The weekend storm that left 26 people dead across southern Europe, mainly south of Spain and northern, uh, southern France and northern Spain, caused several hundred million euros in damage in France, according to insurance companies. A more exact estimate will be delivered in a few days when the true extent of the destruction has become clear. The Federation of French Insurers gave this information out. Thousands of workers on both sides of the border yesterday worked to restore power and reopen roads and railway lines that had been blocked by uprooted trees. It was the worst storm to hit France and Spain in a decade. Earlier this morning, a Federal Express cargo plane crashed upon landing at a runway in Lubbock, Texas. Two crew members who had been on board managed to simply walk away under their own power. The ATR-42 aircraft, pictured here, was operated by a FedEx contractor called Empire Airways. It was coming from Fort Worth, Texas, with about 73,000 pounds of freight on board. And the Royal Gazette in Bermuda is reporting this morning that an Intelsat communication satellite, similar to the Intelsat A-20, may have to perform a collision avoidance maneuver to avoid crashing with a runaway spacecraft. A satellite owned by Bermuda-based Intelsat may have to change its orbit to avoid a collision with an out-of-control communication satellite that's hurtling toward it. The out-of-control satellite, the Astra 5A, is owned by Luxembourg-based SES. It's been spinning out of control since January 15th. SES has been unable to control the satellite because of a breakdown in its sun sensors, which allow the spacecraft to keep its solar panels facing the sun and recharge its batteries. The Astra is now drifting eastward along an orbital arc occupied by several geosynchronously placed satellites. The first satellite that may be in danger from the runaway spacecraft is Intelsat's Galaxy 11, but an Intelsat official said early indications indicate it may not have to be moved. Analysis is ongoing as to whether the Intelsat 802 satellite will need to perform a collision avoidance maneuver. Astra is not responding to any commands from Earth. However, an industry source said that Astra does have enough fuel to put it into a safe graveyard orbit if they can, in fact, reestablish contact with it. We'll keep our eyes on that. That's an important satellite for Bermuda. It sits 22,500 miles directly on top of the island. So if you're going to be having communication problems with Bermuda, it's going to be related to this. Stock market is uh, up about 38 points. We'll be monitoring the news for the rest of the day. If we have anything breaking, we'll come back to you. In the meantime, we'll see you tomorrow.